Hey everybody, this is Argon Matrix. Welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. This is episode 20, if I'm not mistaken. In the last episode, I died. Yeah. But I got a piece of heart anyways, so... Yay on that. Uh... And... Yeah, I burned. Burned, burned. I burned to death. That wasn't very fun. I really wish that they would've just made it so that your heart slowly go down as the heat increases, but no. You just burn to death. Shut up, Nabby. So anyways, I'm gonna drink this last wine milk just to make my heart full. Because I like having full hearts. Anyways, the last thing that we can do here is talk to Kapor Gabor. No, I don't want to check the sign. I want to talk to the him. Hoot hoot. Well, it looks like you've grown up a little from the great fairy's power. But you still don't really look like the hero who will save Hyrule. At least, not yet. If you are going back down the mountain, I can lend you a wing. Come and grab my talents and hold on tight. Woohoot! Yeah, anyways. So basically, this is a shortcut back down to Kakariko if you need it. There were a few other things that could do bombs up in Death Mountain, but I think I'm just gonna come back for those uh, when once I do stuff in, some stuff in Kakariko. Yeah. My god, I still can't believe I died at that freaking guy. At that freaking guy, like, I'm talking like I died at a boss or something. No, I died at, uh, in, I died from burning, duh. So, you don't want to just jump off, you don't want to jump off once he drops you on top of this roof. You actually want to drop down from here and land on this because there's a secret passage here. And in here, there is a cow and the piece of heart. To complete another heart container, you ma your maximum life energy is increased. So that's nice, I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's... Let's see here. Can I play a song for this guy and have him give me some milk? Let's see. Oh, I can. Nice. Okay. Sorry if my commentary is not exactly up to par. Well, I guess it never really was up to par because I'm just beginning out. But, uh, I know. I'm, I'm kind of bland this time. I don't know. I'm kind of tired, but there's not really much to talk about either because there's not a whole lot to be done. Anyways, uh, something I missed, or uh, there's actually a few things I missed when I went into the graveyard earlier. Oh, I can't do this in the daytime. Just set. Uh, I can't I can't play the sun song either because I, it has to be a certain time of night for me, be, me to be able to do some of the stuff in there. And if I play the sun song, it's going to take me past that certain time that time frame that I need to get into. So we don't want that. So we're just going to go out here and wait. Yep. And I might actually just cut this out just because I'm sure you don't want to watch me stare at the sun until it sets for like five minutes. Well, it won't take five minutes, probably. So anyways, we're just going to go ahead and look up at the sun, and I'll see you when it sets. So, take care. Okay, so it just became nighttime now, and Nabi wants to talk to us. Uh, where am I going? I can't see. I can't see what I'm doing. Holy crap. Okay, the stairs are right here. Okay. I found my bearings again, no need to worry guys. So we're gonna head up here and we're gonna go back into the graveyard because we want to see more dead bodies, yay. And we want to be raped by re-deads and everything. So we're gonna go do that now. Anyways, there's actually a sculpture I missed now that I, rem now that I remember in Kakariko Village. I, I think I missed it, at least I don't remember getting it. I and I hear it, so... Oh, can I climb up here? No, there's a thing. There's a thing in the way. Okay, how do I get up there? I can't tell. Wait, I'm such a dumbass. Wow. Okay, that's how you get up there. You come up here, and there's a gold sculpture just right there. Right in front of your face. Oh my god. It's right in the camera. And we get a gold sculpture. That's token number 16, I think it is. Let's just get Navi to shut up here. Uh, I wonder if Sarai knows anything about the other spiritual stone. No, I doubt she does. But I guess we'll talk to her later anyways, so it doesn't really matter. 
Anyways, so we're gonna go back to the graveyard, just like I said, to go see more dead bodies and shit. Yep. And, yeah. So there's actually quite a few things that we can do here that I forgot to do. Number one is, now that Dompe is here, he wouldn't be here if you just used the Sung Song to warp to right here. Sorry, I'm just checking something. If you just use the Sun Song to warp tonight, because his time, his time is not within the time that you get warped to. Okay, that's good. Okay, so you're going to want to talk to him. Hey kid, don't mess around with the graves. But you didn't care. I did it last time when I was here, and you didn't really care. It was that little kid who messed with me. Anyways, let me give you an advertisement for my side business. Don't pay the gravekeeper's heart-pounding grave-digging tour. What's gonna come out? What's gonna come out? When I start digging, we'll find out. Catchy tune, man. Do you want me to dig here for ten rupees for one hole? Sure. And he digs. And we get five rupees. So we got half of our investment back. There's gonna be all these little plots of soil that are scattered around this graveyard, like this one right here. On oh, lag, oh my gosh. I don't want lag right here. And in one of them randomly there will be a piece of heart. So we're just gonna let him walk his slow ass up here. Is he gonna, is he coming? Come on. Yeah. He's gonna just walk his slow ass up here and we're gonna stop him when he gets to the right spot so that he can dig a hole for us. Dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. Oh, is that good? Let's see. Yeah, I want to eat. Want, I want you to eat a hole. And there's another five rupees. So I, the, again, we get half our investment back. And there's another one right here. So we're gonna wait for him to get here. Uh, yeah, this can get really slow and tedious, but oh well. Let's talk to him again. Do you want to be dig a hole? Yes, dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. We get five rupees again. What the hell? I want my piece of heart, bitch. So there's actually two here. So we're gonna have to check both, quite obviously. Come on, walk faster. Walk faster, at least in Majora's Mask you can walk fast. Somewhat, if you do the right things. Dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole. Oh, he wasn't in the right spot. Okay, let him walk forward like one or something. I think that's at least what you have to do. Nope, there's just, just, just nothing there, I guess. Wait. Okay, that's good. Uh, it's hard to see because, again, of my screen brightness. Oh, there's the piece of heart. Yay. So that was the fourth try. Not not as good as some other people I've seen, but uh, I'm just glad I got it out of the way nonetheless. So anyways, um, over here... I think it's this grave it is that it was. And behind it, there or under it, I guess, there's a hole. As there are under many graves. Oh man, I'm running out of time. Ah, uh, at least I think I am. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna end off right here, so this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.